Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at the Alamo Dome with the head coach of the regional semifinal champion Mission Veterans Memorial Patriots, David Gilpin. Uh, coach, how's that sound? <laughs> that sounds real good, man. We started talking about this back in February. When we saw realignment, we looked at our region. We felt we were capable of this. You know, we said, hey, there's no big bad wolf. Angleton's gone. Richmond Foster's gone. Drippin Springs is gone. Now, we didn't know that uh, Judson Wagner was going to turn out to be the big bad wolf, which they are. But uh, other than that, man, everything is falling into place. It's been, it, it, even the playoff games have gone exactly like we expected as far as who we played. Everything has gone. You know, we're on a 12-game winning streak. And so, yeah, it sounds real good, man, being a final eight. Now, you know, obviously in the Valley, it's a sore subject, the third round, you know, sure. in Valley Week yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and this isn't a, a one-year process. You know, you've been around for a while and you guys have played in third round games before. What makes this team different? Because they, they came out with no fear. And, and I, I can even see in the warm-ups that, that just there, were, there was a look of determination and there was not, they were not in awe of the, of the, of the moment at all. And, what makes these kids special? Th this team has no fear of anything. It's, it started three years ago. We stood on, at Alamo Stadium, uh, or two years ago, against Drippy Springs. Uh, we just got beat, got our head handed to it. And I told them our mindset is no longer let's win a playoff game, let's win a district championship. It became it's third round or better. We didn't get to the third round last year. We ran into a tough flower bluff team in the second round and got knocked out, even though we played pretty well offensively. But uh, it, it's been a long process that, that uh, we have continued to grind on mindset-wise. You know, we got what we got. We're not, we're not big and we're not fast, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I mean, obviously, Landry's athletic. Mikey Garcia can run a little bit, you know, but everybody else just pretty much, you know, we got, we're good between 5 to 10 yards, which is football, baby, and that's what we do well. All right, now, uh, people are going to look at the, the numbers, 62-55, and they're going to say, oh, man, it was a shootout. There was no defense play. But, but when, you're de when you need your defense to step up and get a stop and they got a pick six there, they were, they were able to make a play. Um, just talk about those guys. I know, I know Landry and the offense, they get a lot, of, a lot of accolades, but your defense, you know, at times, when, when you need to stop, they make a play, don't they? Yeah, they do, Matt. And, they, and our defense has been playing lights out in the playoffs. Did a great job against Victoria East, Judson veterans. And, uh, you know, we came into this football game, and our defense played. I told them at halftime, we're playing great. We had a bunch of mistakes in the special teams game and they hey they had to run about four or five trick plays in the first half when you make somebody go to the trick plays like that you're playing pretty solid defense and and we were and we were real pleased with our defense in the first half got away from us a little bit in the second half you know they, they they're, they're a good team yeah. they're 12 they're 12 0 for a reason right yeah you know so uh and we knew that you know if you go back and look at all our playoff scores and we've done this at the coaching staff we give up points in the playoffs why because we're playing bigger faster athletes that are really good okay we score well because we do a great job offensively with our scheme and our kids and, and, and all of that. But we understand that going in, and so we're going to take some chances defensively. It's going to give us some big plays, but, you know, I mean, we, uh, we have to find something different besides just lining up and playing base defense of guys against guys that are bigger and faster than us. And so, you know, uh, the last two weeks it's been outstanding, man, and the first half of the night was outstanding. It really was. You guys are the last team standing in the Rio Grande Valley. You're, you're carrying the flag for all of 956 at this point. Uh, what's your message to all the Rio Grande Valley fans from other schools? Uh, I'm sure you'd love to have them come out and watch you guys play Saturday morning at the Alamo Dome, wouldn't you? Man, that'd be great, man. I mean, we support all the Valley schools, and, and I hope they're supportive of us. I know, you know, I, I, I can be pretty aggressive and pretty passionate sometimes. It rubs people wrong some, but, you know, I, I hope they, they know that our heart and, and, and the passion that we play with here and the, and, the, and the attitude that our kids take to the field um, represents all of the Rio Grande Valley. And it's who we are as a region. You know, we're not the biggest or the fastest, but I tell you what, we're as good as football players. You know, we, now, sometimes a football player that's 5'8 and 160 gets beat by a football player that's 6'2 and 220. You know, that happens, but it doesn't lessen the talent that our kids have, and it certainly doesn't lessen the coaching that's in the Rio Grande Valley. Great coaches. And, and th this week was, was, you know, obviously a couple teams took, took some tough losses, but Hannah, you know, could have pulled it out today. Vela uh, played Westlake really tough. Yeah. Laferia gave him, gave him a run. Yeah. Uh, it seems like, you, I mean, at least this year, the, the gap is closing a little bit. Would, yeah. would you think? I hope so, Matt. You know, we had six teams get to the third round. I watched the Hannah game on the drive up, watched some of the Laferia game, watched a lot of the Vela game last night at home, and, uh, and those guys are competitive, man. Vela's got a great program over there having a lot of success and I know there's some tough matches it goes back to why does the Valley somebody asked me that this week why does the Valley struggle in the third round because we're playing really good football teams man yeah. our guys are good football players and sometimes you run into a team that's better you tip your hat and you say great job you don't quit playing you give everything you have and I think all six of our teams this weekend did that how's it feel to be working this week man I tell you what was the last thing I told the kids to tell them it really feels good to say I'll see you at seven o'clock on Monday morning we're a morning practice team and uh go back into December something we've talked about all year long December football five gold balls you know uh, and now we're we're sitting here on a 12 game winning streak we're going to the 15th week of the season you know and I mean golly there's only eight teams left in our bracket you know three three more wins to Arlington and, and that sounds good doesn't it hey it does sound good 
And I know, you know, it's like they say, man, you set your goals high enough that they're not, if they're not laughing at you, you didn't set them high enough. And uh, we set ours right off the bat. We said, let's go five gold balls. Let's go regional champion. And at that point, we'll reevaluate when we see comes out, what comes out of region three. Now, before we get to region three, we know what we got with Wagner. And, and we know the challenge is going to be in front of us. We're going to get back to work tomorrow morning. We're going to roll in probably about four or five tonight. We're getting back because we got to go to work, bring the coaches in, and, and let's get the film on and see if we can figure out a game plan to make us competitive. Well, enjoy the win, coach. Enjoy it. That'll be a fun ride home. And I uh, appreciate what you do for student athletes the state of Texas. Thanks, Matt. And I appreciate what you do, man. I, I, I love, I, I mean, I read everything you put on Twitter. I read everything you put on the website uh, on Dave Campbell's. I mean, I think you are a true ambassador for our game and for our coaches and for our kids. And it's exciting that you were here. I was excited that you were here. I told my son, I said, hey, man, Matt Steph's going to be at the game tonight. And it's cool, man. You know, well, and appreciate it, it, coach. It means a lot. Rock star status these days, man. And that's cool. Well, you're the rock star in the Rio Grande Valley. Congrats, coach. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Great.